My work is basic developmental research, but it also has an applied arm. And that applied arm is primarily focused on trying to develop an animal model uh, that would help us better understand preterm human infant growth and development. Those weeks or months that they're spending in the neonatal intensive care unit, they're getting very different patterns of sensory experience than would normally happen if they had stayed in utero during that full gestation. We're really looking at how does prenatal experience spill over and affect postnatal development. We ended up working with Bob White Quail for probably about a half a dozen reasons. They come in an egg, like all birds do, and that makes access to observing prenatal development uh, so much easier and so much more direct than we would be able to do with any mammalian species. So we can actually observe the embryo during prenatal development. We can modify its experience during prenatal development uh, without invasive surgery or other kinds of techniques. We infer um, biological processes by observable behavior. Um, we garner our information using a null to see vision automated tracking software that tells us um, where the birds are, what they're doing, um, how fast they're moving, how close they are to each other, or how close they are to a novel stimulus, um, so that we don't harm the birds in any way. We are interested in learning, we're interested in perception, and quails offer a very good animal model for us to do that uh, because they hatch quickly, um, they're clean, um, and they see and respond to things in a similar way that we see and respond to things. And um, our thought is that they learn in very similar ways that we learn. So we can, in a sense, mimic in our bird the kinds of sensory modifications that the preterm infant is receiving in the NICU unit in the hospital. The animal work, in a sense, kind of guides uh, the policies and the techniques and procedures that are used by the healthcare professionals uh, to manage these infants. And of course the goal is to promote optimal development or to the degree that we can normal development even though they've had a very unnormal experience.